Good afternoon, John with Ability Air and Heat here. So I have in my possession now a letter from Honeywell, otherwise known as Residio. Never even heard of this company before. Apparently, they're making the Honeywell thermostat now. That is just, well, it explains a lot. Because Honeywell has always been a great brand. I've always loved Honeywell. I've put in hundreds of Honeywell thermostats over the past year. There has been an issue with Honeywell thermostats, the T6 Pro series, non-connected. <clears throat> has been causing a lot of problems. It's causing people's power bills to go up in heat pump mode. <clears throat> it's causing heat not to come on at all in street cool uh, with heat strips. Uh, or furnace. Uh, I would imagine furnaces are having the same issue. We don't have a lot of furnaces here. So this is this is what they say. This is just part of what the letter says. Uh, recently, we had reports from the field about issues with the T6 Pro non-connected thermostat. This has been a known issue for over a year. There's many posts about it from many different markets here in the United States, uh, far up north, down here south in Florida, just it, it, it's all over the place they've known about this issue they're just now saying oh hey we just noticed that there was a problem we've had some reports um, and our assessment is that the series 4 model of t6 pro non-connected thermostats will work with a vast majority of applications we have found that select applications on Beckett Aquasmart EcoJ and Amana RSKP009 control panels may experience compatibility issues, which is inconsistent with our customary high quality expectations. This is bull bleep. This is happening to root systems, comfort maker systems. This is happening with train unit. I mean, it is happening across the board. I've installed these thermostats. However, I've installed these thermostats on some systems where they seem to work fine and other systems where I've had to replace these thermostats four times in a row, finally jumping to a different brand and then it works fine. So there is something having to do with the system in this thermostat not working fine with it. However, this thermostat shouldn't be so weak that it fails under these conditions because I put in a different brand and it works just fine. So there's some weak link in these thermostats possibly working with some other function. I think it's the rectifier and the DC relay. I think there some manufacturers are buying some of these very cheaply from China and it's becoming an issue uh, with maybe the rectifier doesn't have the right ohms or the, the coil on the DC relayer uh, doesn't have enough ohms and so it's causing something. It's causing a little chatter or something like that. That's what I think is going on. I've heard people suggest maybe X13 compatibility but I've had this happen with PSC motors as well. Anyway it seems to be isolated in certain date codes and the date code is between 1917 and 1940 which is just a little four digit code on the back of the thermostat. Let's see if I have one, I have a bunch of these laying around. Oh, look at this, oh, I got one. So right here, it says 1906. That's before the date code. I pulled this out of somebody's unit. This thermostat was working just fine. So if it's between 1940 Sorry, between 1917 and 1940, you should be fine. However, I'm not dealing with Honeywell anymore. I believe in doing business with people who are going to be upfront and honest and handle their mistakes, not stonewall and deny and lie. Just handle your issues, get in communication, work with the contractors. We're here to get our customers air conditioning and heating. That means giving them reliable products. We are a resource for these companies like Honeywell or Residio or whatever you want to call yourself. We are a resource because we care. We want to make sure our customers have air, reliable air conditioning and heating. We want to know why this is happening. 
if we can help you make a better product, by all, I will do it. I will go out to my customer's house with a representative and figure these problems out. But you need to give us an opportunity to help you handle this. Don't stonewall. Anyway, that's it. I'm done with Honeywell. Everybody else, have an awesome 2020 and have a great day.